Hello, Dr. Markle here of Centennial Schultz Clinic. Today we're talking about avascular necrosis staging. Now the staging of avascular necrosis is critical in someone's long-term prognosis and moving forward from an appropriate treatment option. So if we look at stage one of avascular necrosis, typically um, from a symptom standpoint, you can have very minimal pain, full range of motion of the joint, pain typically only comes on with any extensive amount of weight-bearing activity. From an imaging aspect, your x-ray should be normal. If we get an MRI, we will start seeing small areas of necrosis or loss of blood flow. As that blood loss of blood flow continues and progresses over time, symptoms start increasing. Uh, some people have some mild loss of range of motion at stage two. Your x-ray now becomes positive, as well as the, the lesion that started off very small has now typically expanded to a much larger lesion. And as it progresses over time, that necrotic bone eventually becomes starved of nutrition and blood flow. So it starts dying off. And that dying of the bone starts changing the architecture of the joint where you start having collapse of the femoral head or in, of the articular surface. Weight bearing becomes extremely limiting as well as extremely painful, pain sometimes goes from intermittent to now more of a constant persistent pain. And lastly, stage four, you typically get complete degeneration of the bone itself, resulting in complete collapse of the cartilage or joint surface. And now from an analogy, you now have a square peg in round hole. So how fast can avascular necrosis progress? Now progression is very much dependent on each individual person. If you look at literature over time, usually you have a 50% chance of it progressing over a three year period. If, that, if you're asymptomatic, usually it progresses in about 67% of patients. If you're symptomatic, typically it progresses in 85% of patients. So can AVN be reversed? Um, typically the answer to that is no. The likelihood of it reversing um, from between the stage one and stage two um, are probably about in the 20 percent if not less. Um, the further advanced, the higher chances of it progressing and the lower likelihood of it actually reversing. Now the best treatment options itself over the years have been highly studied in multiple different journals in America and in overseas. Uh, Dr. Hernigau has published 30-year outcomes on treatment of avascular necrosis utilizing your own repair cells such as bone marrow chondrocyte. Uh, placed precisely into the area of necrosis um, that allows the bones themselves to regenerate. Uh, if you're catching this early enough in stage one and stage two, it is something that's potentially um, treatment for reversal. If it goes beyond stage two, then you're looking at, well, let's stop it from progressing and try to minimize someone's symptoms. Now, is it very serious? Yes, it is. Now, avascular necrosis is serious to the point where it's typically a disease that happens in your 20s to 40s. Now, if it progresses to stage four, the ultimate treatment of this is typically a joint replacement, such as a hip replacement, knee replacement, shoulder replacement. Now, having a full replaced joint in your early 20s or 40s, uh, probably likelihood of you needing a replace, uh, replacement beyond that or repeat surgery is highly likely. So our goal long-term wise is to prevent the need for a joint replacement early on. And that's where some of these regenerative medicine techniques come um, available and are most useful. So if you've been dealing with avascular necrosis and, or if you know someone that's been dealing with it, feel free to reach out to us. We have multiple different uh, ways for you to get a hold of us, whether it be social media or through our website or our direct line. Uh, feel free to give us a call. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, reach out as well. Have a good day.